All right, this is Rach from the Sawing Off with Avon. She is tacking a comforter. Why are you tacking this comforter? So the batting doesn't shift between layers. If you've got, um, like if you're gonna dry clean it or even, you know, pull it and you and place it on the bed, the batting can pull and shift. It can get, in, it can get clumpy. So um, you need to tack it so that it doesn't move. Kind of like the baffles of a, a duvet or a down, um, like a, a down filler, a down duvet filler. That's why they're all baffled or channel stitched so that the stuff, well actually in down it's so that they don't, the feathers don't move from place to place, but it's the same theory. And as you can see, this is actually being stitched all the way through the comforter by hand. And Rach, how many of these did you have to do for this comforter? Oh my God, I think it was like 48 or something. It, in this one, because there's circles, that it gave me like a, a distinct grid, so I didn't really have to mark it. But if you count across the circles, it's not every circle, it's every other circle. I think it was somewhere along the lines of 48. Wow. All I know is that it was a lot and my fingers are sore. Hence the thimble. <laughs> Hence the thimble. <laughs> okay. But fortunately, the pattern... A lot of times when you've got a pattern, it'll disguise the tack marks. If you've got a solid, you're going to see those tack marks. Um, but in this one, it really cooperated because you can see there's a little dot in the center of each circle and that you can barely see the tack marks and it lent itself to the perfect spot. And again, as I said, I didn't have to mark anything. I can just use that dot as my uh, tack placement. That sounds great. All right, so... 